Fabio Forn talks about signing to Mace's label and getting a $5,000 advance. And the reason why this kind of popped out uh, to us on, on something we wanted to cover is because, you know, obviously this is an artist who is doing incredibly well. Um, obviously he start, had to start somewhere, but I just kind of looked at his numbers on Spotify right. and I think he has like 12 mil million, you know, monthly listeners. So he's doing really well. A $5,000 advance for kind of a standard deal is pretty low. Um, and, and you know, he's he's moved on <sighs> since then and he does say, you know, he learned a lot, he didn't know. But the thing is, he didn't even get an attorney. And he says that he's like, they were just like, no, this is like a crazy good deal, like to sign it. And so he did. And that's well, very, just, very it's, it sounded like a lot of pressure. And, you know, when he talks in the interview about just, you know, Mace is a very slick business person. He knows his he knows his business um, and, and, and he knows how to talk things. And, you know, he, he wanted to get signed. You know, he wanted the opportunity. Yeah. He had his song that went viral. It went it blew up um, that, that 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 Blixie in a box. Um, and you know, he tried to sign him as like him and JD and D saw or D saw as a, um, as like a package deal. So I don't know. It, it's just pretty interesting, but he still has a part of it as part of his production deal. Yeah. And so let me, he, he did a little interview. Uh, and for those yeah. that you don't know, if you're not familiar with everything, like if you've heard that city of God song with Kanye and Alicia Keys, like I have, <laughs> I have that hook in my head, like all the time in my head that, so if you, or he has the, um, body remix or Paris to Tokyo, you might've heard already. Okay. Let me pull this in. I'm going to refresh it. So it starts at the beginning. So, so was it no lawyer, no shit, no nothing. Nah, the, the nigga who bought me to him. He was saying, he was like, yo, man, just sign that shit. You bugging. I'm like, yeah, read it. He's like, all right, just sign it. It's good. I'm so I just signed it. And was it an advance, anything? It was just like. Yeah, the advance, $5,000. $5,000? Yeah. Oh, who? who? He, 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 he signed you for $5,000. That's all a nigga gave you? That's all he gave me. I 5000 was a lot to. 5000 hit when, when that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit hit. That's so the same I, thing Nori said, 5000 Yeah. Nori signed for he had five thousand. Yeah, he signed, signed for five thousand. That shit hit, and I thought, I thought that shit was going to last till whenever that shit was yeah. going to last till that shit ain't last two weeks. Two weeks. Or... And, how, and listen, but how long was the contract? You still had your rights. I'm still in the contract right now. Oh. I'm saying. I thought you. <laughs> nah, you know he, you know Mace know the business. You know what I'm saying he know he really know the business a lot. Like you know what I'm saying, so I did like so I didn't know nothing. I just was signing. He was like, yo. He was like kind of fake trying to explain it to me. Like, yo, you get you get to keep this. I get 30% of this. So I was like, yeah, don't right, rely on what other I'm people saying, tell what, what you. I'm, like, what, what we going to do? I'm saying, he like, you know, he a smooth talking nigga. Mm. So he like, yo, who you want to do a song with? You know I'm saying, I'm like, G Herbo. He like, I got you. you so, so. Yeah, no, no, no lawyer and just a lot of sweet talk. And, and that's 100% the case all the time when a label is trying to sign an artist. And you can't get, you know, blinded by the schmoozing. The schmoozing right feels now. good. They are there to try to make you feel like a star. But you heard him, right? And this is this is something that a lot of artists go through. He said that he was he was stoked that 5000 was a lot for him at the moment. Um, he, he just wanted to get put on, you know, he, you're, you're, you're promised things, you know, all the time. And then he didn't flinch when he goes, you know, this is a production now. And apparently I, when I, when I was reading, he doesn't own his, um, Mace doesn't own any of his publishing rights, but I think he's just getting like 30% of just like the pie from him still, because he says that, you know, he still, he still has to work with them. He's still doing his thing with them, but it's it's just but it's his mace's um rich fish label is the name of the label that he is um also signed to yeah a pretty scary thing and, but that's you know that was from the million dollars worth of game and we we like to cover that podcast a little bit on this channal we've covered stuff with yeah snoop dogg we did Sno snoop dogg did a great interview and so we uh with Alien them Wallow. and so we we covered that and look when it comes to making sure that you don't get you know caught up in a contract that's going to last for 5 10 15 20 years you got to get a good entertainment attorney to look at that contract and don't be so in a rush right and i always say this i'm like you know it took them the, the label a month to get you the agreement and then all of a sudden they're like hey we need to sign by tomorrow because right. they're putting pressure on you they're trying to get you to sign it without having an attorney present and i just go you know you're going to be stuck in a relationship with them for like a decade 
what right. does a few days matter? And quite frankly, that's industry standard. And I saw a question. I think this was from Don't Joe. be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to hold off. If they're especially if they're coming to you. Like they're coming to you because you're going viral. Like don't Yeah. Remember don't be if so right. Eager. If a label is approaching you, it's because you have negotiation power. And then Joe, um, to your question about, you know, finding an entertainment attorney, this is such a personal decision. It's like finding a surgeon. If you're gonna yeah. be number one paying a lot of money to an entertainment attorney, you wanna make sure that they're a good fit for you and that they know what they're doing, that they're on the ground floor doing these deals because even entertainment attorneys, they're in the right business, right? At least you picked a, you know, instead of a property or real estate attorney, but even entertainment they're attorneys so sometimes- people. Yeah, they're exactly. So you want to do a lot of research and then, you know, obviously just do something with an attorney that you think is a good fit. And I tell clients, I'm like, you know, when they're coming to work with, you know, me through my law firm, I'm like, you know, let's have a consult. Let's kind right. of go through what I would recommend and see if it's a good fit. And then and, and, and before see if they, you sign the contract. <laughs> and me, I would say that when you're having that, don't be afraid. Don't think that just because you had a consultation that you have to sign with that attorney. Like, it's just like you're going to get a second and third opinion. You know, you need to have a budget for these kind of things because you want to make sure that they understand what you're doing just because they're an entertainment attorney. They're like, I've been in the you know industry for 40 years. Yeah, but are you current? in the industry like are you on do you know when i'm mentioning these artists do you know who i'm talking about do you know what deals are being made do you know who else is like are you are you cutting edge or are you just i push papers and i have some t contract templates that may have to be rewritten anyway so and then one last final thing i wanted to say as far as not, i don't know if you have anything else to add but i just wanted to say about the um, for artists is stop worrying about that advance. Stop worrying about the damn advance. It's a loan. You need money, go to a bank. Like worry about what the label can do for you. Like get in writing what the promotion's going to be, what kind of, you know, what they're, who they're going to get you to work with. Don't just go with, uh, you know, Hey, who do you want to work with? We got you. Like you believe it when you read it on the contract. Well, and the only counterpoint that I would put to that is, is you know, as far as the advance, if you're only getting a $5,000 advance, I'm curious what the other terms of your agreement are, because that signals to me that the label isn't val valuing you very That's much. Enough. And so, you know, be like, hey, I don't I don't care about the advance, but I want a sweet deal on the royalties. I want a sweet deal on the ancillary right. rights. Yeah. Or give me more ownership <laughs> of my music, my actual right. my masters. Like, let's 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 work something out. Negotiate.